Hi everyone, I am Teacher Jane again. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply the Factor Theorem. The examples that I'm going to use were lifted from the Mathematics 10, Quarter 1 module, page 24. Let us have our first example. The Factor Theorem. It states that if the remainder R is equal to 0, then the divisor x minus c is a factor of the polynomial p of x. Now, let's apply factor theorem in our first example. Determine if x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. To verify this, we are going to apply remainder theorem. In the remainder theorem, it is necessary to determine our c. Our divisor is x minus 2. Our c is now positive 2. Therefore, having known that c has a value of 2, we are going to solve now p of 2, which means that all the x variables will be substituted with a value of 2. We are now going to obtain this. 2 raised to the third power minus 2 raised to the second power minus 4 times 2 plus 4. With the use of calculator, you can actually input all these equations here and you will get an instant answer. Now, let's evaluate this now. It will become 8 minus 4 minus 8 plus 4. Then we combine now our integers and we will get a value of 0. So, P of 2 or our remainder has a value of 0. Since the remainder obtained is 0, therefore, x minus 2 is a factor of the polynomial x cubed minus x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now, let's move now to our second example. Determine if x minus 3 is a factor of the polynomial 2x raised to the fourth power minus x to the third power minus 18x squared minus 7. To verify this, we are going to apply the remainder theorem. Since our divisor is x minus 3, therefore, our c will be equal to 3. To obtain the remainder, we are going to solve p of 3. It only means that we are going to substitute the value 3 to all the x variables. With that, we are going to obtain this. 2 times 3 raised to the fourth power minus 3 raised to the third power minus 18 times 3 raised to the second power minus 7. To evaluate this, we can either use our calculator. Now, let me show you the value of each. 162 minus 27 minus 162 minus 7. Combining all these integers, we will get a negative 34. Therefore, P of 3 has a value of negative 34 or our remainder is negative 34. Since the remainder obtained is not 0, therefore, the divisor x minus 3 is not a factor of the polynomial 2x to the fourth power minus x cubed minus 18x squared minus 7. I hope that you're able to understand how to apply the factor theorem in determining whether a divisor is a factor or not of a polynomial. Please watch my next video.